Amelia. Miss Amelia, welcome back, Mum. I do hope you were able to find some assistance in Concord. You could say that. I made a few new friends. Can't have enough of those these days. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Just say the word. No, not now. All right, then. That was Anything Goes by Cole Porter. That was, that was Anything Went. Uh, no, no. Stop it. You're listening to, uh, uh, Diamond City Radio. If, if you're listening at all. Here's a 60-minute man, and, uh, I mean, let's be honest here, it's, well, it's not talking about how long his naps are. <laughs> I knew Sturgis so, would find something to keep you busy. Here it is.
Hey. Hey there. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Your money. All of it. Now. Yeah, yeah. I know the drill. This ain't my first mugging. Here. Now leave me alone. Carla. Ah. The robber. Okay. I paid up, so let's get lost. I paid up, so get lost. This is Diamond City Radio, and I'm, uh, you know, me, Travis. Anyway, I, ho I hope you like this one, the, the song. I mean, it's... We had a deal, Trudy. It's Ella Fitzgerald. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Now, don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. Whoa, whoa, easy there, vault girl. This doesn't involve you. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. We'll lower our weapons, all right? Just don't do anything crazy. What's going on here? It's a simple business dispute, got it? Trudy sitting on a pile of goods that she owes me. I tried reasoning with her. But it looks like I gotta take what's mine by force. Wanna make some easy money? Help me out. I could use another gun. Or maybe you think you can talk some sense into her. I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. I'm the muscle, babe. Just don't piss me off, all right? Excuse me. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Why? What's this all about? Oh, that Ken Pusher didn't tell you? He got my boy hooked on Jet, sold him a ton of junk on credit, and now he expects me to pay him off. That bastard ain't getting a single damn cap from me. Look, you owe them money. If you just pay them, then this will be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. All right, I'll pay. But that bastard ain't gonna sell one more drop of jet to my boy. You hear that, Wolfgang? You'll get your damn money. But I better not catch you selling chems to my boy again. Never take a hit of jet again, I swear. Your son's broke as shit, anyhow. All right, crisis is over. If you're here to trade, step up to the counter. We get paid, and I don't even gotta shoot nobody. Good job. Here. Now how about I show you all the pick-me-ups I have to offer? What kind of chems do you sell, anyway? Well, whatever I can get a hold of. Jet's popular. Gives you a... Excuse me. Thanks for helping us out with Trudy. You did good. Now, let's talk business. 
I'll take a look, sure. I got stuff that'll blow your mind. We're open for business again. A little lighter in the pocket, thanks to you. How about you buy something and make it up to us? You got things covered from here? Yeah. It's gonna take my son a while to get off the chems, but we'll make it. We always do. Now, let's get back to business. You need anything for the road? Let's see what you got. It's all worth every cap I'm charging.
itching, just itching all over. Excuse me. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Another, uh, an another good one. Another good one from, uh, Betty Hutton. If you're here to trade, let's trade. You're listening to, uh, uh, Diamond City Radio. If, if you're listening at all. I mean. Hey. Hey, you like Louis Jordan, right? Well, how you doing, buddy? From him. Hey, boy. Think you can find something for me? See if there's any good stuff nearby, boy. Kick ass!
How you doing, buddy? Psst. Disappearing act, huh? Only a fucking coward hides. Find confusing. Oh, I know you're here. No sign of him now. That's what I'm worried about. Hey, let's go eat. You're listening to uh, uh, Diamond City Radio. If if you're listening at all. You picked the wrong fight. I doubt it. No! Warren Smith has a song about digging for uranium, which is, I, I guess, a thing people did back then? Fun. Uh, I don't get it. Don't quit, do ya? Engage with me, huh? There you are, you little uh.
Payback time, boogeyman! You better be with it! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, personal, it's you or me. Harris. Playing games with me. So, huh? um, <clears throat> this radio station here, we we don't really make any caps, and uh, there are uh, well, some people help me stay in the air. People like uh, shit. like this. Choice chops wants you to know we have meat, just meat. Stop asking if we have anything else. Here's Big Maybell with a whole lot of shaking going on. Uh, I mean, I don't know what else there is to say. Uh, kind of speaks for itself, I think. Come on, play. Hmm.
What the fuck was that? I'm thrilled. This is gonna be fun! Hell yeah! This shouldn't take long. Time's up, bitch! Hi. You find those raiders? Yeah, I kicked their asses for you. No kidding? That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, if we want things to get better. Sure. So... Seems to be growing well.
That was the five stars. All, oh, oh, all oh, five of them. Uh, Get it? Hey, because it's I paid about, up. So uh, twenty. Ah, sort of. No. No. Okay. Not really. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. I really appreciate you helping us out here. Here's a thing. You know that settlement you sent me to help? Note? They've decided guess, uh, to join the Minutemen. That's great Diamond news. City, I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, not much use yet. John and Kathy once we... Super Salon so, invites you to try out the I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. Look good. Make people jealous. I figured oh. you'd tell have you heard of the... Roy Brown is back. Hmm. With good rockin' tonight. I guess. Your group came... You That's right. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. Like average rock and we were the only... Only a few of us got our... We never found a... As long as you don't get... I'm not about to give up. That's why I'm talking... That means a lot coming from you, Garvey. I appreciate that. Does that mean you'll do it? Okay. Good. Good. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. <laughs> That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Miniman has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Miniman is <laughs> there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new General. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are layering there. Once you clear it out, set up a... Before you know it... Hi. Is there something you need? Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. I think the folks here can manage on their own now. Thanks to you. Hey. Is there something you need? Come with me. I need your help. You got it. Hey. How you doing? Hey. Going home now. Hi. Is there something you need? Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. Hey, boy. Everything okay, boy? Mama Murphy. You're tied to this place, kid. Stop it. That's none of your business. Hey. Okay. What am I doing? <clears throat> yeah? Your thoughts? Back before General Becker died, the Minutemen were a force to be reckoned with. Anything you want to talk about? Don't know if I believe all those boogeyman stories about the Institute. It all sounds like paranoia to me. Just curious what you're thinking. Might be a good time to look for somewhere to spend the night. What are you thinking about? I'm glad I ran into you in Concord. I think you're going to turn out to be the right choice to lead the Minutemen. What's on your mind? You probably think you're doing your best, but I know that you can do better. How are you feeling about things? Never a dull moment. Anything you want to talk about? The Commonwealth's a lot bigger than I realized. Your thoughts? I hear a lot of talk about the railroad, helping free synths and all that. They don't sound too bad. What's on your mind? I think you've got what it takes to be a great leader, but you still have to prove yourself. How are you feeling about things? Where to next? How are you feeling about things? If everyone was willing to pick up a rifle and protect his neighbor, the Raiders wouldn't stand a chance. 
What are you thinking about? I'll tell you what's wrong with the Commonwealth. People can't see the big picture. How are you feeling about things? I've worn out a lot of shoe leather since I joined the Minutemen. Just curious what you're thinking. The Commonwealth's a lot bigger than I realized. How do you feel about us? I'll be honest. I'm still trying to figure you out. But I haven't given up on you, if that's what you're asking. That's all. All right. You just heard crawl out through the fallout. Yes. Here's a thing. A, a sort of uh, note, I guess, um, from a sponsor here. 
in Diamond City, and I'll, um, I, well, I'll, I'll, I'll just read it. <laughs> Stop in for a drink at the Dugout Inn. The stories are free, but the moonshine will cost you. Ask for Vadim Bobrov. So this is uh, Billy Holiday singing Crazy He Calls Me, this guy. <laughs> Locked Nice.
Heads up. Just point me to it. What now? Heads up. Look alive. Look alive. What is... what is it? What are you thinking about? I hear a lot of talk about the railroad. Helping free synths and all that. They don't sound too bad. Are things all right between us? I'm glad I ran into you and conquered. I think you're gonna turn out to be the right choice to lead the Minutemen. How do you think things are between us? Ask me again in a week or so. I'm still trying to figure out what makes you tick. That was it. No problem. Undecided by Ella Fitzgerald. I know the feeling, Ella. I know the feeling. And now, uh, a word, or several, from our sponsors. Swatters. Own a piece of Diamond City history, and then beat people to death with it. Here's Uranium Rock, a song about people getting rich by finding uranium. <laughs> that, uh, that worked out real well for all of us, didn't it? I'm joking, just joking. It went poorly. This place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. I'm on it. Ah, thanks. It'll make everyone feel more secure here.
Sturgis. Thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Home. Feels good. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows, too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. I'm listening. Hey. I've heard of another settlement that's in trouble. I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need. We could use more settlements supporting our cause. Thanks for helping us out with Trudy. You did good. Now, let's talk business. Never take a hit of Jet again, I swear. Shop's open. What do you want? I've been thinking about this for a long, long time. I know what I'm talking about here. Bullshit. Hey. You what can't you just put something between two pieces of bread and claim it's a sandwich. Does that mean a loaf of bread is technically a bread sandwich? Technically, yes, but you wouldn't eat it all at once like that, so it doesn't matter. How you hold it matters. Talk all you want. You put that piece of my alert meat between two pieces of bread, but it still ain't a sandwich. Well. What the hell would you call it, then? Disgusting. That's what. Hey. Yes? Yeah? Huh?
that was uh, being Crosby. Yep. <clears throat> Did the Minutemen send you? Yes, I'm here to help. What's the problem? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone, stealing our food and supplies and threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. I'll see what I can do. Good. We didn't know who else to turn to. Here's a thing. A, a sort of a note, I guess, um, from a sponsor here in Diamond City. And I'll, um, I'll, 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 I'll just read it. <laughs> Choice Chops wants you to know we have meat. Just meat. Stop asking if we have anything else. Uh, okay. How about Johnny Mercer? I kind of wonder if this one is supposed to be a joke. Does anyone know? Every shot count. Give up now, I'll make it quick.
That was personality. So, um, <clears throat> this radio station... Did the Minutemen send you? We don't really make any caps. Yes, and, and there's uh, a group of raiders are, uh, that won't... We know where they're coming from. Mm -hmm. help me stay in the air. People don't like, worry. Uh, I hope so. Like mm -hmm. Fallon's Basement. Providing top-of-the-line fashion to Diamond City for over ten generations. Keep a knocking. By Louis Jordan is next. I like this one. It's short, and it's about telling people to go away. <laughs> If you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. Whole place is run by robots. Help! Raiders jumped us! You gotta help! Hey. Ain't looking for trouble, I hope. Don't much care for good neighbors. I won't be able to pick this.
She needs help. Hurry! She's in here! Please help! She's right back here! Hurry! Did you hear that? Damn it. I think we're in trouble here. Hey! I told you to bring them in through the basement! Shut up! They're headed this way now! Be ready! Go check it out. You don't think I will? I'm tired of sitting in my eyes anyway. What's the point of hiding back? Why the hell don't we just shoot him in the head? Hey! Hey, back time, boogeyman! That's how it's done, boys. There's nobody here. Look around. They couldn't have gone far. What the fuck was that? This is bullshit. Oh, it's on! Fuck up. She's right back here. Hurry. I'm not gonna need that anymore. This is gonna Just die! 
Nothing there now. What do you think? I don't know. Jumping at shadows. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. You gotta cut down on the jet, I guess. Now don't start talking huh? crazy. Can't see. useful. Won't be able to pick this. Tex Beneke, folks. Coming to you from, uh, the jewel green, I mean, the green, uh, I mean, the, uh, the great green jewel. These raiders uh, the have Commonwealth. Lights there. It's, 
May as well Diamond help City ourselves. Radio! Here's uh Oh well, it's a fun one. Uh feel free to uh rock out or whatever it is people do nowadays. Gate. I'm playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> open this gate right now. You. 
You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Piper! Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious rabble! Mayor McDonough has always been against the Minutemen. Men. We never quite understood why. Hey, you must be with the Minutemen. Wow, I really appreciate everything you guys do. Hey, I appreciate it. Keep up the good work. Here, take this. Hey. Hey. Point it out. <clears throat> what is it? What are you thinking about? I hear a lot of talk about the railroad, helping free synths and all that. They don't sound too bad. No, never mind. All right. Favorite blimps on quite a show, huh? Quite a show. Hate it when they bring up the Institute. Ain't like folks aren't already scared of them. Anyway, don't let it get to you. Life here is still a hell of a lot safer than out there in the Commonwealth. I'll be fine, thanks. Welcome. So what brings you to the Great Green Jewel? Looking for someone who's gone missing. Gone missing? Who is it? Friend? Relative? My baby was kidnapped. His name is Sean. Oh, I'm so sorry, miss. I can't imagine what kind of pain you're going through. I'm afraid missing people don't get found in Diamond City. God seems to have turned a blind eye to them. And with all the fear of the Institute in people's hearts, they've turned a blind eye as well. I'm lost, Pastor. I need help. Please. Well... I don't want to get your hopes up, but there is someone who might be able to help. Nick Valentine. He's a detective. Saved a lot of lives over the years, but so many more stay missing. And trouble has a habit of sticking to him. Thanks. I'll go talk to him. Take care of yourself now. Piper, you're back! Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. Oh, uh, sorry. That was Bob Crosby. Here's a thing. A, that a sort motor of, is uh, going note, to go soon if I you guess, don't. Um, from a sponsor here in Diamond City, and I'll um, I, well, I'll, I'll, I'll just read it. <laughs> a portion of this broadcast has been brought to you by the Mega Surgery Center, now featuring facial reconstructive surgery. Oh, that's nice. Why settle for less than perfection? Next up is uh, a place. Uh, it's, 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 it's
Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. Now I gotta head into the office. And you start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. A paper? Don't need it. I'm serious. The Institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, lady. Read the public and be prepared. If anyone is one of those things, it's... What's with you vault dwellers in those jumpsuits, huh? Got everything you could need. Medics. Send free shopping right here. You? I, I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Why? Because I don't know you, and I will not serve a synth pretending to be human. So are you human? Synth? What's a synth? A synth, as in synthetic person. Those things the Institute makes look real with hair and sweat and blood and everything. So are you human or not? Human as the day I was born. Well. You do look human enough, but I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. I'll take a look. Sure. A bit of everything.
what got are you going to do with that? Arms, long arms, ammunition. Smarter, the game changer. You're that new girl, right? Yeah, I'm the new girl. Well, it's good to have you here. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. I'll take a look, sure. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. Hope you enjoyed that last song. <laughs> okay. You're listening to uh, uh, Diamond City Radio. If if you're listening at all, I mean. What time is it? Why it's time for a whole lot of shaking. <laughs> because. Because that's the name of the next song. I, I thought I would try something there. Probably didn't work. That's fine. Yeah, here's the song. Bail me out. Protection for sale! Hand-tooled pieces! You then! So thirsty. You need a genuine, authentic liquor no more. Cola. Let's see what you got. Baseball history.
I hear there's a bar in the old theater district that's for Raiders only. The Combat Zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. The hub of trade for all Diamond City right here. Self-prescribed chems, as recommended by me, myself, and I. Hey, who wants to look beautiful? Hairstyles from across the Commonwealth. Can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout inn, and that's the booze. Man's gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. Word is huh? something bad went Talk down. Talk to Abbott at the wall of witchcraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? I'm too friggin' slow to join the Minutemen. You read the paper? Damn sense. Hiding among us. Don't touch the paint. Don't worry, I won't. Good. The wall keeps out the back. Thinking you need a little edgy. Sure. Happy to help out. You see this paint I'm using? Hardware town. Actually, I already have some paint right here. Well, ain't that the end all be all? Why don't you go ahead and put a little of that paint on the wall? See what I got to work with. Everybody, everybody, I need everyone's hard. attention. I would like mm. to address the subject. That's that a good shade of green. The wall sure seems happy with it. Piper has written. Diamond City has stood united for over 150 years. Happy to help. It's been an honor. Years. It's nice to work with someone who knows how to show respect. There's your payment, and a little bonus for getting the right shade of green. Don't do anything with it I wouldn't do. And second is our faith and trust. In each other. The faith and trust that has given us prosperity, security, and education for every citizen. And while the paper might point their fingers at synths and other ghost stories to drive us apart, we will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not abandon my city due to the heinous allegations of the press. God bless this city. God bless the wall. He's so full of shit. Excuse me, but I'm very busy right now. Mayor McDonough. I have somewhere to be. Sorry. Swatter, swatter, swatter can hit! Boom! 
Don't walk outside the wall undefended. Hey, Sheffield. High quality protection Cola, for sale. Got some great stuff if you're interested. You. Prescriptions, you Bill. High quality cams right here. The super salon can give you the hairstyle of your dreams. Uh, you know you aren't wearing any pants, right? Selling papers is busy work, lady. I'm glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Piper. Holding up, Blue? Yeah, holding up. Hey, Piper. Holding up, Blue? That was personality. Yeah. holding up. Honey. Look, I'm just gonna say it. You're a vault dweller. You might not be wearing the blue jumpsuit, but the Pip-Boy and that fish out of water look? Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. If you're the kind of I want an interview. Is, uh, Your life story in print. Living in Diamond City, I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside a perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, I and uh, I'll tell you what. Option. I'll come with you. The settlement. Watch. You're back um, while you get used to the uh, world above ground. Sanctuary has, I guess, been founded. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. 
Let's get down Let's to business. Down with, you know, the so, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time and on the inside? In other news, it sounds like maybe the... <laughs> Not other news, it's actually the My story. family and I were frozen. The Minutemen were involved in the I didn't spend much time in the vault. The Wait, <laughs> I, I thought, they I boxed thought they you up in a for. fridge? <laughs> the whole time? It's, it's crazy, you Are you saying you were alive real, before be the war? I bet. Next is some yes. Coal. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> the woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, the uh, big question. Why come to Diamond City? You're looking for someone, aren't you? Who is it? My baby, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. <sighs> as heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that... that you'll see them again, or... at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back? Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. I'm human! Don't move, Synth! What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Synth! Don't shoot, for God's sakes! We're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a Synth! He'll kill us all! Heard your response. Kyle, no! On the wall. Looks nice. Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Move along. We should get going.
Sometimes you gotta bond them. Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? Well, that's a fairy tale, man. They don't even... Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. Is something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's the small matter of expenses. Money, huh? I do have 125 caps in the old rainy day fund. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Oh, that butcher Pete. Just, well, just doing butcher sorts of things, I guess. <laughs> uh... If anyone's family has recently been butchered, I am sorry for what I just... Head on inside. Well, there's this article in uh, the newspaper, Public Occurrences. Boy, I mean, uh, it's, well, it's, it's, it's something. I mean, I, uh, I'm not saying anyone is a sin, you know. I'm not, I'm not saying it's uh, correct at all. And, you know, of course, the mayor, I mean, I mean, I was, uh, I, I was asked to read, I, I have a statement from the mayor's office. You know, it's, uh, well, I mean, it just, it just says here there's, uh, nothing to worry about, that it's, you know, 
Safe and all, everybody. Kind of... It's crazy stuff, right? I mean, weird? Anyway, it's, uh, well, it's something to think about, I guess. Frankie Carl wrote a song about tomorrow. Or at least, I guess, uh, his version of tomorrow. Which is pretty different from mine. stuff, right? I mean, weird? Anyway, it's, uh, well, it's something to think about, I guess. Here's some Betty Hutton, if you were waiting to hear it. I mean, whether you were or not, if you hear it. What the hell was that?
ears only, asshole! She says all of Do you have a visual? Yeah!
was maybe by the ink spots. I mean, it was definitely by the ink spots. It's, it's called maybe. I, sh I should have been clearer. So, um, <clears throat> this radio station. <laughs> we don't really make any. Yeah, there are. 